Hello and welcome to episode 20 of MLB The Show, 18 for your Minnesota Twins franchise. How you doing everybody? Eric Emmon Twins, 28 here. And um, I got I goofed up. I not, I, I, yeah, I not only goofed up once, I goofed up twice. Um, when I thought I was recording game one of the ALDS between Twins and the New York Yankees, I thought I hit record. And during the game, I accidentally hit the share button, which, you know, basically does a uh, screenshot. Or um, if you press and hold it, something comes up. Uh, another thing comes up. Well, at the end of the game, and I hit the button, and I just did my little exit intro, it started recording again. So I didn't get the chance to record the whole thing. And, of course, I saved before I thought I finished. So... Yeah, so we won the game, first game. Here's the box score. We won 8-6. to six. We started out hot. We had a one nothing lead, and then we got four in the third. Well, then the Yankees got three right back to get in it. We got one in the fourth. They got two to take the lead. They got another run in the seventh, and then we came back in the eighth and ninth, and we scored to, uh, to beat them in uh, the ninth inning. So we won 8-6. to six. I'll give you some of the quick highlights here. Buxton had a couple doubles. Kepler had, and Morrison had a double. Buxton had a triple. Sano, Rosario, Kepler, and Polec Polecki all had home runs. Very nice work. Uh, we had one error. Escobar had a fielding error. Buxton stole a base. Uh, the Yankees had a couple home runs by Judge and Aaron Hicks, former twin Aaron Hicks. Uh, Pitching-wise, Bettis did not do too well. He only lasted three and two-thirds inning. Harvey came in, and he did okay. Um, and then the bullpen kind of took over and shut the door down. Um, Duffy got the win. Duke got a hold, and Iglesias got the save. So Twins won that game um, to take the series lead at one game to none. So here is... My second goof up, game two. And I, once again, I hit the button. I know I did. It said record. And then um, I think what ended up happening was I got interrupted midway between the, midway during the game, so I hit pause. And then at the end of the game, you know, I resumed. And then I, I finished recording. And I think what happened was I thought, this p part one of this game was part of the other game I screwed up on, and I I accidentally threw out, I accidentally deleted the first part of this video, of uh, the video for the, this game, for game two. So all that's left is the last part of the game. So um, I'm not going to show you guys that. I'm just going to do the box score here. We took the Yankees again in New York. Uh, we won 8-4. to four. So I'll give you the highlights on this one. Buxton, Sano, and Morrison all homered. And let's give you... Granite got caught stealing, which was kind of a shocker. Uh, let's see here. Hicks, uh, Gregorius had a home run. H Hicks had an error. Um, Barrios went six innings. He did good, but unfortunately, uh, it wasn't enough to to get a win because we were tied up in the six and he was getting tired. He was using a lot of pitches. As you can see, seven strikeouts. So we had Dunzing come in. He got the... Oh, excuse me. Barrios did get the win. I'm sorry. I'm mistaken. <laughs> Never mind. Two, three, four. Wait a minute. Two... That doesn't make any sense. Barrios got the win. He went six innings. I don't care. Whatever. We won. Oh, I see. No, uh, yeah, duh. National uh, American League, we're on the road. Yeah, Barrios went six innings, and then we got seven right away in the seventh before we came out. Okay, yes, I get it now. Uh, Dunting and Little both got holds, and then Iglesias came in and got the sale, the, uh, the save. So uh, we're up two games to none here on the New York Yankees. So um, now we're going to go into game three between the Twins and the New York Yankees. And uh, if we can sweep them, we're going to ALCS to face either the Houston Astros or the Cleveland Indians. 
So here we go for game three of the ALDS between the Minnesota Twins and the New York Yankees at Target Field. Twins are up two games to nothing, as I explained earlier. And uh, if we beat the Yankees, we go to face Cleveland or Houston. So this will be a good game. Hopefully we can do it. And I did record the whole game this time, so thankfully <laughs> thankfully, we'll be having something to, uh, a game to see. So um, that's a good thing, I guess. <laughs> there won't be any screw-ups. This part of the video is um, voiced over, so, because this was before I actually found out, I fixed that, uh, why my headset was broken and why it was shorting out, so, um, yeah, <laughs> can't believe I actually figured that out, I'm like, oh yeah, that explains it, and I tried it out, and it wasn't, wasn't shorting out, so, pretty good, so, yeah, so, a um, couple updates here before we get to the game here, um, I've been working on a couple games on the computer, the American Truck Simulator. This is going good. That's actually going pretty good. But I'm having trouble figuring out how to record on a computer, on a PC game. So I haven't figured that out yet. Um, I'm going to be doing some more GTA Online content soon. they got a new DLC coming out soon, the nightclub update. So I'm going to be doing that. I've been working on my, my empire and building my account on that with some odd jobs and stuff and saving up my money and building on it so it's doing, looking pretty good so um getting some gta online updates soon i'm hoping to get back into the storyline mode as far as these side missions yeah uh, we'll see i haven't really been feeling that lately so i might just say fuck that i don't know first pitch from ryu ryu whatever his name is is a foul down the right field line so, um, I'm going to try and get going on the Madden Season 2 soon. I haven't been doing that. I'm not really feeling baseball or uh, football right now. I'm kind of waiting until season starts, the real season for the Vikings. So, I might get back into it when season starts and get the itch. So, I think for now, Madden 18 is on hiatus. Um, I will be continuing it because we're, we're one episode into Season 2, so... But I kind of want to just keep going on this, even though the tw twins are really disappointing me right now as far as the real twins. It's July 3rd, and they're just looking terrible right now. And it's pretty much, they're pretty much writing the season off, and they're already confirmed pretty much that they're going to be sellers. Nice play by Maurer, and he gets the unassisted put out. What a great play by Maurer. In the final year of his contract, will he return to the Twins on a bargain? Or uh, will the Twins just say, we're not bringing you back? It's going to be an interesting offseason for the Twins. And, uh, I, yeah, it's like, I decided, you know what, let's fast forward. You know? It's like, we know what this guy's capable of. Let's get to the hitting, so. Here is Buxton leading off. Buxton been a pleasant surprise this season. He's raised his average up a little bit. First pitch. Right to second. And I w didn't realize it until uh, he appeared at the at the dish. Josh Harrison was on the Yankees, so they must have traded for him. So here's Maurer. Let's see what number seven can do. And he lets that one. Oh, he swings at that one. Unmower like. Strike one. Yankees have their ace on the mound. Tanaka. Pitch. Outside. Mauer lets that one go this time. Should be 2 0. Yeah, Matty, Clyde's my type of umpire. I didn't mind the low strike zone, and that's exactly what he had. If you're not going to give Tanaka's got a sign and the pitch okay. inside, ball two. Maurer has a great eye at the plate. Umpire. Pitchers seem to like him more than hitters, but one thing I will say, he has a very consistent zone. And the 2 1 delivery. Outside, 3 and 1. They're, well, they're pitching around well, Maurer for some reason. Sano on deck. 3 and 1, and now he's really in the driver's seat. 
to see a heater and Maurer get gets the pitch down low ball four so Maurer with a five pitch walk would have been a four pitch walk and it swung at the first pitch but that's okay he works the count in his favor and gets a walk that's one thing I've, I've really improved this season this version of the franchise compared to the last one I did is I've been taking more walks and I'm getting really more patient at the plate although there's sometimes I swing at garbage and it's like come on so no swing did a split finger I believe that was one swing and a miss in the dirt yeah it was a splitter that's the location you want a guy to swing at more than likely he's going to beat it no suspect to strikeouts and the pitch that one's driven to left center and left field, excuse me, and it's caught. Two down. And that'll bring up Rosario with two outs. And there you see the results up to date right now. The Astros lead the Indians two games to one. And in the NL, it'll be the Nationals and the Giants in the, in the NLCS. So interesting. Cubs are out. Brewers are out. There's Rosario. And the pitch down in the dirt. Ball one. Missed on a slider. Tanaka with some control issues here. And the pitch to Rosario. And he crushes this one to right field. If it stays fair, it's gone, and it is gone. Touch them all, Eddie Rosario. And the Twins take an early 2-0 lead on the Yankees. Ever since Rosario was moved to second base after the Dozier trade, it has just been working dividends for the Twins. And uh, safe to say that was a great move. You know, because we weren't sure if we were going to get Dozier back in the offseason. We didn't want to lose out on him. We didn't want to get nothing. And uh, I think it's paid off. You know, we got Toscar Hernandez in exchange for Dozier along with uh, a couple others. And it's working out. It's... Been a, it's been a good trade, and Rosario's doing great at his previous natural position, so it's definitely been a good move. Even though we got some guys waiting in the wings, so to speak, Nick Gordon and Royce Lewis, it's going to be tough, but Rosario's the man right now at second base, and I think he's going to be there for quite a while. Rosario, or, uh, here's Escobar, he's 0-2 right now. And the pitch from Tanaka, outside, tried to get him to chase on the slider. Estimated distance for that Rosario home run, 424 feet. And he just hooked it around that right field foul pole. Another slider, and he fouls it off. Escobar just protecting the plate. Tanaka gets his sign, 15 pitches this inning, and he's already down 2 nothing. And a cutter up high, and he fouls this one off. Stays alive. One, two. Another one, two delivery. High and and pitch. Right and here's a drive into deep right center field. This and one's got a chance. And this one's off the wall. Only dives and misses. Hicks misses it. And this will be a double for Escobar. Hicks with a great attempt, but just missed. So Escobar with a two-out double. And here's Max Kepler. He's going to have to make some adjustments quickly if he's going to turn this around. Max Kepler. Tanaka had 17 pitches here in the first inning. Kepler with a drive to center. Hicks has got this one, and that'll do it. 18 pitches. And the Twins put the two spot up on the board. Sanchez, Gregorius, and Frazier up next for the Yankees. We're going to fast forward, fly out, strike out. And a fly out, so a one, two, now three inning. And here's Logan Morrison. And I believe this is the contract year for him too. I think he only signed for one year deal. And try to build that lead as much as they can, moving into the later innings. And they got the shift going on, so Momo's going to try and beat the shift, but not with a pitch inside like that. 
And he swings and fouls it into the right field, uh, right field line seats. First baseline seats. The wind up and the 0-1. Four and one. Now a late and the pitch. Here, but he misses strike Tries two. to bunt and he misses strike two. Tanaka throwing that Sharp split finger that a lot. High slider, he misses ball one. Ball right there, but that's just a pitch that's a little easier to lay off of when you're opposite handed, opposite bat. You can see the sweep of the ball coming right into you. And the pitch to Lomo. High and deep down and the he left drives one to left, left field, but that's, that's going to drift foul. That wasn't a into where the seats right are there. there. I sat last year. And, and, and Twins played the miss. Blue Jays, and we lost. Great seats down. down around that area. Lomo, another two and two. pitch high, and it's two and two. The two two. Pitch to Lomo, two and, two. and he fouls it off. He's staying alive. Here now the two two. It's a knock with a sign. Hit sharply on the ground. And a pitch, Taking and a ground three. ball to second. And that's out number one. with a shift from short. And there's one. Now Zach Granite will get to take his first cuts here. One away, yes. Here comes the first pitch. Here's a hard hit ball to the left side that'll be taken in out there at short. And they are wearing him out down there. Two away now. And it's two quick outs. Next twin up, Kevin Plowecki. Try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Granite's been hitting the ball hard just oh, right at people. Plowecki with a swing and a miss hey, on a slider. Happened in between innings, but he went down that tunnel with a few of his teammates and some coaches and found a way to regroup because he's been really good this second inning. After going out in the first, I thought it was going to be a super short out. And the pitch. And, hit in the air. and he drives one to right, right field, and this one is caught. So a one, two, three inning for the Yankees. Much better inning than the first. And another one, two, three inning. So here's Bucks going to lead things off. Twins at the top of the order again. And the pitch to Buxton inside almost hits him and gets out of the way. That's ball one. The one oh. Now a swing and a ground and ball, pitch. but a foul foul one and one. It'll be a ball and one strike. The one one home. And the pitch to Buxton. On the backhand. Ground ball to short. It's going to be a tough play for Gregorius. Throw to first, not in time. Buxton beats it out. Hey, this guy's having a big series in the postseason. It looks like to me that the moment isn't too big for him. He's slowing the game down. He looks terrific. Yeah, absolutely. Postseason monster right here. And here's Maurer. He walked in his first appearance. can have their moment mid-May, but to do it when it gets cold outside means everything. Buxton is a threat to steal. Here's a swing and a ground And here's the pitch. Bucks and uh, Maurer with a swing and a foul. Second at bat in a row that Maurer swung on the first pitch. Oh one, here's the pitch. Pitch to pitch Buxton. And Buxton Let's goes. Pitch to Maurer, excuse me. Well, throw to second, not in time. Well, this pitcher's out there just Sanchez had no chance. Out. He's having a hard time doing that, so as a base runner, that's a good time to try to steal some bases. He's probably not as focused on controlling the running game as he should be. Buxton stands at second with no so out. So Buxton's at second with nobody out. Maurer can drive him in. This is and the pitch. And, and in classic Maurer fashion, base hit left field. Buxton around third. He's going to score easily. And the Twins are up 3 nothing. So classic Maurer slapping it the other way for a base hit. And Buxton easily scores. Show track demonstrates why, as we see the incredible top speed as he came around to score pretty easily from second. Great play there by the Twins. And now bring up Sano. Sano 
Bono went down on strikes his last appearance. And a heavy dose of split finger. Let's see if it happens again. And a slider for a strike. Oh, excuse me, he lined out. And the pitch, and he fouls one inside. To knock over the sign. Still and no the pitch. And Sano swings and fouls one to the right side. Another ball. Pitch that he should have left alone. Could easily be 2 and 1 right now, but it's 0 and 2. And, he wasn't gonna and hit the pitch to Sano. Swing and a miss outside. And here comes Rosario, who's you have to look 1 for 1 with a 2 run homer. Really oh, that was an ugly pitch. When you fall behind 0 and 2. That was a nasty swing. Here's Rosie. He's hit a home run already. He started the scoring yeah, affair. Two run homer. That hook to the right the field pole. Well, Rosario with a drive to center and caught by Hicks. Two outs. He puts it away much for the out. And there's two away. Here's Escobar. He's got a double in his last at bat. Trying to pick things up where we left off, Yunel Escobar. Here's he Escobar, who had a great year for the Twins. The a great job being the shortstop. That was a good free agent From signing to get him with he the suspension of Polanco and, and the other guys struggling to move up the organization. Escobar filled in nicely and a nice fixture there at shortstop and hopefully hang on to him for at least another season or two. We'll see how it goes. The o one on its way. Ground ball and the pitch to Escobar. He grounds it to left. short. Throw the second the and they get the force. The Twins get a run on two hits. Game three moves forward to the fourth inning now. Twins are out in front three to nothing. Riding in once again, Aaron Hicks. He drew a walk. His All right, first here's time. Hicks. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to. And something's going on here. Okay, I must have been doing something. I don't remember, but I must have been away from for a minute. I think I was getting a drink. Something. Oh, somebody hit a homer on Stanton. Hit a homer, and now Sanchez hits a homer, and all of a sudden now the Yankees have two on. And we got out of the inning, so it's 3-2 now. So the Yankees hit two home runs back to back. So here is Kepler. And the pitch. And he swings and misses at the split finger fastball. 0-1. Oh and, and Tanaka's got his pitch. And in the dirt. Ball one. In the middle of the fourth inning, Twins are up 3-2. Yankees trying to fight off elimination here. And Kepler drives it to deep right, but this is hooking foul. And boy, oh, hit the uh, it hit the Twins uh, pro shop up there. That was a deep fly, but foul. Straighten that one out, Maxie. Two balls and two strikes. Here's the windup. Tanaka's got his windup. And pitch. And he pops it up. Harrison's got it. And one away. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Logan Morrison. He got on Here's top Morrison. of one and was a ground out victim last time. Toward the gap in right center. This is going to be a base hit. And, and Morrison drives one into the line. gap. And this will not be caught. This will go all the way to the wall. And Morrison is going to truck in the second here. With a one out double. Just an absolute laser that time. Screaming off the bat if you will. And 
show track tells us it went out at 112 miles an hour. Those are the line yeah, here's Zach Granite. They go by. He hasn't been doing very well in the playoffs. He's been hitting hard Zach just at people. Zach Granite, the next to bat. Hit on the ground down the first base line. And he follows it down the right field line. Granite having a great year this year since taking over the starting job when the Twins traded Batista away. It was a great move and it seemed to work out. Showing bunt, but he winds up taking and he pulls one. back. He showed bunt, but he backed up. It's ball one. And runner, or the uh, third baseman's playing back, so I think Zach's trying to play some mind home. games here. Now He's showing bunt again. Here. Pulls oh, back. Oh, and he bunts down the third baseline. Morrison doesn't run. And it's uh, now Morrison's caught in a run down. If Morrison would have ran right away, he would have been he would have been safe. For some reason, he didn't hold off. Or he held off. I don't get that. Granite goes, throwing the dirt, throw to second, and they nail him. Wow, what a throw. He didn't even get off his knee, he just a bullet. Wow, that was a good throw. So, Zach Granite's caught stealing. Greg Bird gets third after he again, stole Aaron second. As he's got a chance to tie Reed was at 78 pitches here in the fifth. Run just 90 feet away at third. And the pitch. Swinging a foul to third, third base dugout. 80 pitches. Swing and a miss. Struck away. him out. Here's big Aaron Judge. Now here's Aaron Judge. And it looks like the Twins are getting their bullpen going. And it looks like it's Tyler Duffy warming up. Strike one on Judge. And the pitch. Swinging a ground ball to short. Escobar's got it. Throws the first. And they get out of the jam. Into the box now, Kevin Ploiecki, as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. Here's Kevin Ploiecki. Now a ball lying the alley and left center. And he drives one in the left field gap, and this one is caught, for, or it's in for a single. It's cut off, but he's held a single. This is obviously one of them. Another base hit leading off for the boys. This guy's had a monster postseason. And here's Buxton. Ready once again, Byron Buxton, a hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Infield most likely will be playing in for the bunt. And... Okay. First delivery to Not him sure on what the was way. going on there. And the pitch to Buxton. To right and he drives him to, left, to right center field gap. Back. This one's got a chance. This one is off the top of the wall, almost out. Pawlecki's on his way home. He'll score easily. Buxton with a triple. Well, that, didn't take that one was almost out. Yeah, they made it look easy, didn't they? Lead off single, puts the guy in the stretch, and then wham. Great the hit by Buxton. He almost drove one out. Just missed a home run. Here's Maurer. He's already got an RBI already today. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Mauer with a drive down the left field line and hooking foul. Third at bat in a row. Mauer swung up the first hit. pitch. Very on Mauer like. I think he's tired of beat, beating the uh, getting beaten by the Yankees after all these years. Now the runner's on his way home. And that one got a piece of this is a perfect example. And that one hits Mauer, so Buxton's gotta go back to third. Sometimes it moves so much that you just lose control of it. This one runs way too far in, and the hitter is standing on first as a result. So Mauer's on second. Or, excuse me, Mauer's on first. Buxton's on third. Here's Miguel Here's Sano. Sano. Probably going to try and do some double play here. here. And swing and a miss on Sano. So far in this one. Nobody out right now. So no can do some damage here. He can really open this game up. If he gets a pitch he likes. Swing and a miss at a ball down. 
Swing and a miss on a split finger fastball. 0-2. Sano's already got one strikeout today. This is a great spot to be in as a pitcher. You have two strikes, you can bury one for a potential strikeout. And Pitch to Sano, and he swings and misses at a slider. A second strikeout for him today. Or tonight, excuse me. Uh, here's Rosario. He's one for two. He's got a two-run homer back in that first inning. And he could really open this up right now as well. He's one of our hottest hitters right now. Tanaka's got to be very careful here. Pitch to Rosie. And ground ball. Throw to first. And they'll get the runner at first, but the run scores, and it's 5-2. Mauer to second. Two outs. And here's Yunel with two outs. Tanaka's at 59 pitches. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And, and pitch in the dirt. dirt. Ball one. You know, guys, these hitters have had some great looks at that Not a very good so pitch far. there from and Tanaka. Clearly they're all on the same page. The plan is simple. Lay off that slider and make him bring up something straight to strike zone. Leaps and makes a Driven right and a great catch at first base. Wow. Leaping catch. Gold the glove material. All right. So here's Ryu. And Tyler Duffy is coming in. So Ryu is night is done. He only goes five innings, but he's in line for the win. And the Twins get out of it. Runner got thrown out at the plate, so it stays 5-2. So Duffy got a little bit jammed, but he got out of it. Here's Maxie right at the third baseman. Here's Lomo. And outside ball one. Is one of those guys that just seems to be at his best under pressure. Runners in scoring position, tight game, tough hitters at the plate. That's when he's at his best. Swinging a foul on a sinker. Being a good reliever is being able to pitch out of trouble. Trouble that's created by the pitchers before you, or sometimes you even have some mess that you put on yourself. Hey, regardless if it's a mess that low he's low low deep left center. It is himself. caught on this the guy makes shift. When the game and they're two away. Here's uh, Zach Granite. Another shot now. Zach Granite. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. This is popped up. Bird. And he pops right. one up. Makes the catch. And, and pitcher pitch in his kitchen and he pops it up and that's it. One, two, three inning. Quick one, two, three inning. It was only like five pitches. Here's Duffy. Two walks. And now we really got something going on here. So twins are gonna activate their bullpen again. And looks like Zach Little and Zach Duke. It's the Zach's warm up in the bullpen. Knuckle curve misses ball one. No errors for the Yankees so far. Duffy getting and himself a little bit of jam here. Strike, strike one. one. Pitch. Grounded foul. The one two. And this is on the ground. And and first. Pitch. Grounded to first. Throw to second for one. Relay to first and double play. Pitcher's best friend right there. Driven to left center, or excuse me, left fielding foul. Pitch, strike two. Duffy gets his call. There's a single on the throw. Swing and a miss, struck him out, and that's it. He strands the runners. So after walking the first two guys, he gets a double play and gets out of it. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Down the third baseline. Kalecki, base hit. No, they call it foul. It looked like it went over to third base a little bit, but they called it foul. Ready with the 0-1. And the pitch, and a ground, just a lazy ground ball to short. Third baseman picks it up and gets him by a step. And here comes Buxton. Buxton's two for three today. He's got a triple and a single. 
the first pitch to him. Breaks his bat and the pitch to Buxton, and he and breaks his bat, the and it's caught. And it's Joe Mauer. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And a ball, one and, and the pitch, outside ball one. First, first at bat in this game where Maurer doesn't swing at the first pitch. So the streak of three, three at bats is over. Pitch to Maurer. And a drive to, ooh, ground ball for the first. Ooh, I thought he was pulled off the bag there, but they called him out, so Maurer's out. And the Twins are now bringing in Zach Little, the rookie. Pitched one and two-thirds inning in his last appearance in the playoffs. Struck out one. So here's Zach Little. And a strike. To Stanton. Number one right here is finding one. a way to get on base. So I'm not surprised to see him taking on and the first pitch, pitch there. A inside ball, ball one. Now. Twins leading top of the eighth, five two. One and two. Pitch, one and two. swing and a miss. Fastball down and low. One and two. Purple. To Stanton and, and the pitch, swing and a miss. Struck him out. Mr. Hundred Million strikes out. Your Sanchez. And he'll take the pitch. Strike one. On the fastball. Strike one. A little time. looking good here. Hey, let's not sugarcoat this. This is a huge half inning right here. They have and to the pitch. To score a few and the ball gets away from the catcher. One one. Rookie pitcher looking really good here in the playoffs. Lofted in the air out and the pitch, right and that one's going to be caught by Kepler and on the run. Nice play. Two down. Here's Gregorius, and here comes Paul Mulder, and he's going to make the move. He's going to bring in the left-hander, Zach Duke. So good job by Zach. And ball one. And the bullpen is getting going, and the Twins are, start, are warming up their closer. Raziel Iglesias. High, ball two. Duke not finding the zone. Two consecutive pitches here. Swing down the left field line. Foul. And the pitch inside, ball three. Duke is not finding the zone. Throw another swing and a foul down the left field line. That almost hit the bat boy. Or the ball boy, excuse me. Pitch from Duke. Swing and a pop-up. Sano makes the catch. So the Twins hold the Yankees in check again. Jonathan Holder in for the Yankees. And here's Sano to lead off. And Iglesias is ready to come in the game. And the pitch. Sano swing and a foul. Split finger. Same pitch that's been giving him fits all night. That and the slider. Sano slaps on the right field where there's nobody. All the way to the wall. And he's going to chug in the second with a double. And he'll pull in the second here with nobody out. So Sano beats the shift. And he slaps it down the right field line. This guy is a gamer. He's been on fire since the postseason started. And here's Eddie Rosario. It looks like he doesn't plan on stopping anytime soon. First delivery to him on the way. And the pitch inside, ball one. Mighty two mile or fastball up and in. In his kitchen, and he just let it go by. And the pitch, swing and a miss at a cutter up and high. Now the one and one pitch. Swing and a soft liner. And Rosario grounds it to short and throws it over. first one away. Runner at second, one away, and that'll bring in the short. Here's Escobar with one out, one on. He's set and the pitch. Bouncer up the middle. 
And a ground ball to short again. So no cannot go anywhere. Two down. So after the leadoff double by Sano, the Twins, two consecutive ground outs to short and cannot get him over. And here's Kepler with two away here. Twins trying to tag out some insurance runs here. And popped it up. And the Yankees will get out of this. So the two out, uh, the leadoff double does not damage him. We go to the ninth. The Twins are up 5-2, and here comes Rezio Iglesias to slam the door for the save and the sweep. The pitch, swing and a foul. Yankees in unfamiliar territory here. They're on the verge of being eliminated by the Minnesota Twins. Pitch. Ground ball back to the pitcher. Iglesias throws a first. Perfect. He's out. Great throw. Here's Miguel Andujar now. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. And the pitch. High ball one. One out. Nobody on. Hit the other way after pitch. Fly to right. Kepler's got it. And two down. Ready for another chance. Greg Bird. And there's and it's up to Greg Bird. He's over one with two walks. Here's the first pitch. And that one stayed up a little high. Ball one. Didn't get the call. That was pretty borderline. I think he had it. Ball two. Not a great spot to be in right now. Two and zero to a great hitter like this. This is when you really have to pitch. Pay attention strike to one. And if you have good off-speed stuff, this might be the time to start mixing in your off-speed stuff. And this is swung on and missed. Swing and a miss on the changeup. Yankees are down to their last strike. Last chance for the Yankees. Iglesias is the sign. The two-two delivery. Swing and a miss. And the Twins have swept the New York Yankees and are going to the ALCS for the first time since 2002 when they face the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim and that damn rally monkey. It's been that long for the Twins. After decades of being the whipping boy, the New York Yankees, the Twins, have turned the tables and have done... Well, they know the unthinkable. No one saw this coming. But they've handled their business so the Twins have swept the New York Yankees right out of the playoffs. The evil empire well has come crashing down. And they did some damage offensively in this one, enough to get the win. And Byron Buxton should play the game. Charge. He's our top player of the game. He was one of a few guys that really swung the bat well. What a game. game. With a pair of base hits, he helped propel his team to a hard-fought win. So Byron Buxton is your player of the game for this one. He got a double and a triple. Or a single and a triple, I think it was. Yes, single and triple. So the Twins are celebrating. They're going to go and they're going to wait the winner of the Cleveland-Houston series. Which we're going to find out here shortly. Who we're going to be playing. So there it is, Byron Buxton. Two for four, two runs, one RBI, and a triple. They did have a single and a triple, so not bad. So let's see uh, who we're playing. And the Twins, they skipped a day. Welcome to the show, everyone. And Thanks for making us a part of your morning. Let's advance the next day. The Here we go. News from around the Major League Baseball postseason. In game oh, three of the AL news. Division Excuse Series, me. the Twins combined to allow only four hits as they defeated the visiting Yankees, clinching the series and stamping their ticket to play in the ALCS. For game three of the ALDS, the Astros knocked out ten hits as a team as they beat the Tribe in Cleveland 8-6. They take a two-game... All right, so here we go. And we advance ahead, and we advance ahead again, and we're going to play Cleveland. So Cleveland came back. 
and beat Houston. So we're going to be playing our new division rival, Cleveland Indians. If you like this episode, hit that like button, leave a comment if you like, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time for episode 21. Minnesota Twins franchise for MLB The Show, 18 for your Minnesota Twins franchise. And we'll see you next time for the ALCS. Until next time, peace out and go Twins.